Yikayxatini! Hello everybody! Welcome to Raven's View. We're going to check out another product. I got a new yoga mat and uh, I've been checking some out. This one's a little bit thicker than the normal yoga mat and a little bit bigger I think. I'm pretty sure it is. So uh, we just got it in a little while ago, a few days ago. I haven't had a chance to really uh, open it up or check it out yet. And I forgot even what brand or type it is, but we'll find out quickly here. I got a couple other yoga mats. We'll put it to the test here too. We'll compare it with the other ones that we got here. Okay, this one came from uh, Amazon. Let's see, I forgot what it's called. Uh, oh, let's see, <laughs> what is this called? Uh, Aurora, Aurora. Oh. Aurora, Aurora, Aurora Yoga. <laughs> okay, Aurora Yoga. Aurora, 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 Aurora Yoga. You can pronounce it. There it is right there. A U R O R A E. And from what I understand, this is a little bit of a thicker and a little bit of a bigger yoga mat that I was thinking, hey, you know what? Um, I think I can use that. So let's check it out here. Uh, there's different colors that they have here. I got the the blue one of many. They have like rainbow colors, all kinds of stuff like that. So let's see how it compares with the other yoga mats that we have here. Okay, looks pretty good. We'll open it up here. Um. Okay, so it's it feels thicker right away. It looks thicker right away from the other ones. Um, let's see. So Let's pop it out here. Looks nice, okay. So it is definitely thicker, just looking at it and feeling it. I can tell it's thicker than the other mats. I have some other kind of just regular mats that I've used in the past and um, that my family use. This is the one that I normally use. This is a Reebok version. And looking at it, it definitely is thicker. So let's see if you can see the difference there. There is the difference right there. Uh, this one's like almost twice as thick, the blue one, the new one that I got. And that's really kind of what I was looking for, something that's a little bit thicker. It's also just a smidge wider. And let's see if it's as, it's as long or not, I don't know. So there's the new one. Actually, it looks like it's about the same width, but it is longer. And I can use definitely a longer one. Um, I'm a little bit, you know, I, I reach the edge of the mat when I am doing yoga here. And so, you can see it's about that much longer than a, a, a regular traditional kind of a mat. Uh, Aurora, 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 Aurora Yoga, I guess is what it's called. So anyway, that little extra space I think is going to be nice. Uh, the thickness on there I think is going to be super nice. We'll put it side by side here again so you can see. And... Um, 
it looks like, like I said, nearly twice as thick. Pretty close, anyway. Um, but I can definitely feel the difference there. So we're gonna try it out. I like the color, really pretty. I was in a yoga class and I saw somebody, one of the guys next to me uh, that was using one of these and I was like, whoa, look at that. It is super thick and we were on this hardwood floor and I can definitely feel it. So, I mean, out here in the grass, it's not gonna be as big of a deal, but when you're in a yoga class or you're in uh, you know, somewhere that's a harder floor, I can definitely appreciate that little extra give inside the, the mat. So I wanted something a little bit like that. So we're gonna give it a try here. Uh, I think the family actually is gonna come out and we're gonna try out some yoga poses and give it a give it a shot. All right. One other thing that this Aurora yoga mat came with is a rosin bag. So that's what's in this little bag here and give you a little close up of it there. Aurora slip free rosin bag so inside here is some rosin and apparently this little card came with it and it says while practicing yoga on your new mat you may encounter slipping aurora owner uh designed the aurora slip free rosin bag similar to what gymnasts and basketball pitchers use to keep their better grip slip free rosin bag is made from crushed 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 stone and tree bark and is very easy to use so if you feel like you're slipping um, you can just kind of take this put this a little bit on your hands and um, no slipping over your feet feet or hands so I like that that's kind of cool I'll definitely use this I find myself sometimes slipping if I get a little hot a little sweaty uh, a little warm or something like that while I'm doing yoga so I think that's gonna be an extra cool little uh, doohickey. All right, so we'll check it out here. And George Pork sets to work with his wood chopper Hello. building pose to build Hello, his house of bricks. Are you on the Coming boat? up to Hello. stand, everyone. Hello. We stand with our feet nice and wide, crisscross our fingers Hello. behind stand. our back, and stretch our arms along behind oh. us. Now after three, we fold forward, and we say build. Here we go. Build. One, two, Three. Bill. Bill. Cupping our hands around our mouth. Big breath in through our nose. And below. All right, we're gonna try it out. I do this every other day, sometimes every day, uh, definitely a few times a week for sure. I wish I could do it every day. And uh, it, I used to do it actually every day. I used to have some problem with my neck, and so I had to do it every day. Anyway, this is just uh, trying it out, just to try some basic uh, yoga stuff. So uh, I'm gonna do Child's pose, knees to the end of the mat, toes touching, and bend at the hips with your arms extended. All right, nice. Now, cat, 
Meow, meow, meow. Boo. Boo. Meow, meow, meow. Boo. Downward dog. Down. Up. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. See, right here, I can use the rosin. Right here, I can definitely use some rosin. I put some bug spray on, and you know, I need some rosin. Good thing I have a rosin bag. Let's try it out. Rosin, you know, rosin, you also use rosin on the bow. There we go, that's the way. Oh, so much better, so much better. Forward bend. Halfway. Slowly come up, slowly come up, slowly come up, slowly come up. Mountain pose. Dive to a standing forward bend. <clears throat> Down on your knees, toes up to half camel pose on your left side. Hands up, switch to a half camel pose on the right side. up to a plank for a vinyasa set. Cobra. Back to downward facing dog. Downward dog. Stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. Pedal it out, pedal it out. There you go, pedal it out. Hop up to a standing forward bend. Half a bend. Down. Back down to a standing forward bend. Up to a mountain pose. All right. Come down. Stretch out the sides. Hands on either side. Fingertips. Stretch, 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 stretch to the left. Stretch out the neck. A little bit of a turn. Center, oh, it feels good. To the right.
stretch it out, roll it out, roll it out. Very nice, very nice. All right, now up. Turn to the right. Twist. Up. To the left. Okay, now chest expansion, chest stretch, hands behind, interlock, forward. Back up. Okay, now bring it in. Take your elbows together, hands together. Stretch out your back. And if you can, this is always hard and it's getting a little easier, but if you can interlock your hands, crisscross, applesauce, equal pose variation. And the bail. Breath in. Breath in. Bail. Okay, stretch and interlock the other ones in. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Very nice. All right, on the back. Okay. Rocking boat pose. Hug the knees. Back, me. Nice job. Twist to the right. Two knee spinal twist pose. Oh, I love this one. It always cracks my back. All right, back up. Hug the knees. I have to do that. Stretch your legs to the left. Oh, that's so good. Feels nice. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Very nice. So I do some variation of this, a uh, few other things every day, every other day, sometimes two or three times a week, but I try to do it at least as much as I can. And um, I think it helps absolutely for sure. I feel it every day. I feel it every morning. I, I try to do it in the morning when I wake up. And so I think it's very helpful. So coming back to the mat though, I think the mat is uh, just kind of moving around on it right now, even in the grass. It's the thicker material, so it doesn't bunch up as easily. Um, it's very similar to the other mats, except just a little thicker, a little longer. And I think I'm gonna be pretty happy with it. I'll put the link in the description below if you wanna check this one out and uh, try it out but I think you know for my knees and just a little bit of extra length for doing downward dog and some other stretches I think it's going to be super helpful um, thumbs up yeah okay you're right thumbs up if you like this video thumbs up the video subscribe to the channel follow the channel uh, and share it with others that you might think that might like this video. So anyway, this is the, I'll try it again, Aurora, Aurora Yoga mat. Uh, check it out. 
I think it's pretty awesome so far. Um, in comparison to the other ones, it's definitely going to be uh, more cushy, a little more comfortable from when I do yoga. So, goodness cheese, goodness cheese. If you have any questions, uh, add them in the con comments below. Or if you have another mat that you'd like to recommend that uh, maybe I haven't thought of, send me a link or send me a, a comment in the below as well. All right, goodness cheese, goodness cheese. Tsuye Kwasatin, Tsuye Kwasatin. We'll see you later. And uh, I love it. All right, thumbs up, goodness cheese. Good night, cheese.